Hello there and welcome to another flat earth debunking video. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is really just following on from some of the issues that I looked at in the previous two videos, which were related to what we see the sun doing in the southern hemisphere, which shows that uh, the flat earth model really doesn't work. <clears throat> in this video, what I'm going to do is compare two locations in the southern and the northern hemisphere that have got the same latitude south as the other one's got the latitude north. So we've got the symmetry. Now, I'll just stick with the last, the a place I looked at in the last video, which was the most southerly location I used, which was Punto Arenas. And you can see from this that it's got a latitude of 53.2 degrees south. Now, I find that Liverpool, England, has got a latitude of 53.4 degrees north. So they're very, very similar. Um, just one's north and one's south. Now... <clears throat> We can use time and date again to timeanddate.com to get a comparison. Now, what I want to have a look at is what happens on the respective solstice at each location. So Liverpool, the solstice is in June, because in, in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, this well, I'm looking at the summer solstice for each location. So the summer in the Northern Hemisphere is in June, and it was on the 21st. Now, if we look here, we see that the sun in Liverpool rose at 47 degrees and set at 313 degrees. There was just slightly longer than 17 hours daylight. And at the solar noon, the sun reached an elevation of 60 degrees in the sky. Now, Punto Arenas... The December solstice will be the 22nd. <clears throat> the sun will rise at 133 degrees, set at 227 degrees. It's uh, 16 hours, 58 minutes, almost 17 hours daylight. And the sun will reach a latitude at solar noon of 60.3 degrees. So... The latitude of the sun and the length of daylight is slightly different, but we would expect that because there is a very slight difference in their latitudes, but they're very similar. So there's a strong symmetry there. Now let's consider what the sun is doing, the direction it's rising and setting at both locations. So Liverpool, in the summer solstice, the sun is rising at 47 degrees. It's the 21st. Well, it stays the same um, round about the solstice. So the 40, 47 degrees. Punta Arenas, 133 degrees. Now, 47 degrees, that's 47 degrees clockwise from north. 133 degrees is anti-clockwise from south, so there's a symmetry there. The sun in Liverpool on the summer solstice sets at 313 degrees. Now that's 47 degrees anti-clockwise from north. At Punta Arenas, it's setting at 227 degrees. That's 47 degrees anti-clockwise from south. So there's this perfect symmetry in what the sun is doing in terms of where it's rising and setting and a very close symmetry for the length of day and the elevation of the sun. But like I said, that slight discrepancy is explained by the fact that the, the two latitudes aren't exactly the same north and south. Now, on another website, I can just show you that this information tallies up with a, a different source and this website uses 
a visual representation to show you what's going on. So for Liverpool, you can see here it says the, the June solstice is in green, so the summer solstice. So the sun starts to become visible here. Now that's north 30, 60. So this is about 47 degrees as, we, as, as predicted by the other website. Comes down here, goes to the south because this is the this is where you would be so this is south of your location and then goes to about 47 degrees anti-clockwise from north just as the other website said and we can look do the same thing so this is Punta Arenas and the December solstice the summer solstice here is in blue this blue line here and you can see that the sun is rising about 47 degrees anti-clockwise from south, goes to the north, and then sets about 47 degrees clockwise from the south. So you've got this perfect symmetry between the two locations. And also, if you compare the other information about what happens, um, say, in Liverpool on the December solstice with what happens in Pontarinus on the June solstice, you get the same symmetry. So there's a, a clear symmetry between north and south for two locations that have got the same latitude north as the other one has got latitude south. And this is a symmetry that is not in any way predicted or explained or understandable by in terms of the earth being flat and it is a symmetry that would be predicted and is completely expected and is explained by the earth being a sphere so once again we find that just simple considerations about what the sun is doing supports overwhelmingly the notion that the earth is a sphere and is not support does not support in any way whatsoever the idea that earth is flat so once again we find out that the flat earth model just doesn't work and the spherical earth model is completely consistent with observation.